Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share a little bit of this. So, one of the things that I've uh, done, thanks to Robert over at RJ Make, is I've gotten into drones. And so, I've actually started a drone channel over there. And so, uh, one of the things, figured I'd share some of this because what I've been doing is 3D printing some pieces and, um, and not only 3D printing them, but I'll also designing them first and then 3D printing them. I guess I should put the cart, the, the horse before the cart. So, one of the things that uh, I did, I want to share with you guys, um, is this assembly that I did for the motor mount. And I haven't cleaned this up, just took this off the, the uh, printer, uh, took off the supports. Uh, however, what this does is allow me to use this existing uh, semi-motor assembly, which is designed to go into a prefab drone frame, and then adapt it so I can use it in just about any type of drone model I want, which I thought was pretty interesting, and I kind of wanted to share the concept with you guys. Now, I designed this open SCAT, and this, this code will be out on my open SCAT site over there, and so if you want to get it, hey, feel free, go ahead. Uh, also, I'll put the uh, video on how I came up with this code down below uh, too. So if you're interested in OpenSKit, hey, go ahead, check it out. Uh, however, I kind of wanted to just share the idea of, um, of this being able to take a 3D printed object and uh, reusing some existing modules. Now, the, the pretty interesting piece is the way I did this is I actually worked up this assembly that you see here in OpenSKit and differenced it out of a, a basically a puck or plastic um, uh, round thing if you want to call it that cylinder I knew there was a name for it it was it's early in the morning folks so and, and that's the idea so now I have the reuse of this so there may and the reason I share this with you guys on this channel uh, because I'm also you know running the uh, time lapse of them printing out up, up over there is this is really kind of a neat idea I thought to take something where I have half of something which is this and make the other half of it here to make it reusable uh, because these are actually very cost-effective motor assemblies and so uh, I, I, I wanted to reuse these and so this gave me the ability, and again, I kind of wanted to share the concept. Now, here's the finished unit. Uh, you can see what it looks like. So I've got a 3D printed top on here. Have the unit uh, bolted down uh, here. Notice the knockout for the motor, so I have complete centering here. So anyways, uh, I found this very interesting, and, and this appears to be very useful. Uh, also, if you want to follow me over on my drone channel, again, the link will be below. You can check it out and see how it goes. Um, and and because I'm going to actually build a drone based upon these motors and assemblies and that kind of stuff a very economical one and that's what I think is kind of cool is this 3d printer is allowing me to take some very uh, economical brush motors and gear assemblies and props and that and build potentially a rather cool drone well we hope it flies don't we because that's sort of the idea here so anyways wanted to share that with you guys hopefully you found it interesting if you did uh, give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget uh, Swag Shop up there, subscribe button coming over there. If you have any questions, hit me up below. Happy to answer them. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.